In this video, I'm going to show you some of my top Power BI extensions and utilities that I use in order to be a bit more efficient when creating Power BI reports. We're going to go through each of them and why I use them and also why I like using them in the first place. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So as you start creating more and more reports in Power BI, you'll notice that while Power BI gives you a lot of options to create and customize your reports, some aspects of the development process can be a little bit too repetitive or takes too long for what it's worth. Throughout my years of working with Power BI and browsing in the community forums, I've picked up a couple of websites or utilities that have helped me speed up my process. So today I'm sharing you some of those extensions and utilities that I use. The first website that I want to show you is this one called Coolers. This site is essentially a color palette generator that can quickly and easily generate palettes for you. You simply press the spacebar to randomly generate different colors. You can keep pressing it to generate different colors. And when you find the color that you want, you can simply hover over it and lock it like this. And then you can keep pressing spacebar and that will preserve that color. And then when you find another color that, uh, color that you like, you can lock it. You can move it around as well like this. And then you can keep generating colors until you find all the colors that you want. If you want to use the colors in Power BI, you simply copy the hex code. Then you can customize any color properties of any visuals in your reports. Or even better, put it as part of your theme, which we'll go through in a second. So I use this site a lot whenever I want to create new reports with custom themes. In fact, the color scheme of Solutions Abroad came from this site. So I use it quite frequently if I want to build demo reports. The next site that I want to highlight is the themes by Power BI Tips. This is a great utility website to quickly generate Power BI themes beyond just the color palette. So here in this page, you can set your color palettes. So if you choose your colors from coolers, you can paste the hex values here. And when you import this theme into your Power BI report, Power BI will choose your colors by default for any new charts that it creates. Even though that doesn't sound so terribly helpful, it does save you a lot of time in the long run because you'll be creating tons of charts in your reports. So as I said before, it's not just the palettes you can customize with this. You can go to properties and you can customize different aspects of the different charts here, like change their, uh, let's say, data colors or data labels. You can choose to customize individual charts like this or customize the global properties here, which affects all visuals in your report. I use this bit a lot for setting small things like font types, display units, font sizes, data labels, or drop shadows if I'm going to be using it frequently. Basically, you make your selections here. And then once you're pretty much done, you simply hit download theme, which will download a JSON file for you, which you can then import into your Power BI report. The next one that I want to highlight is the DAX formatter by SQL BI. This handy little tool formats your DAX codes to make it look clean and readable. The ability to write DAX codes extends what you can do in Power BI reports by a lot. However, writing DAX codes especially not coming from a technical background can result in sometimes messy or unreadable code. The ability to write DAX codes extends what you can do in Power BI by a lot. However, writing DAX codes, especially not coming from a technical background, can result in sometimes messy or unreadable code. With this tool, what you can do is simply copy the measure that you want to format go to the DAX formatter here on this website, simply paste it. If you hit format, 
it will automatically format it for you. It's great for beginners because it sets up a standard that you can follow, which will help you with collaborating with other developers. You can use the web version here on their website, or you can install it as an external tool, whichever is easier for you. The last one that I wanted to cover is an external tool that I discovered recently called the Reports Analyzer by Elegant BI. This tool helps you optimize your report's performance quickly and easily. So think of it as an extension to the Power BI's built-in performance analyzer. There's a bit of prep work that needs to be done, like exporting the performance analyzer results. But once that's done, the tool will simulate your canvas, overlaid with the performance analyzer results, and highlight any visuals that takes a long time to load. It has other features that you can play around with, like adjusting the DAX query times, to highlight slow loading reports or even generate some recommendations, which is great if you're not sure where and how to start optimizing. I really want to cover this tool in great detail because it makes optimizing your Power BI reports so much easier. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below if you want to check it out. And that's really it for this video. So those were my top tools that I use. If you have your own tools or utilities that you use and would like to recommend, please post them in the comment section box below. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.